just to give everybody a heads up, you're gonna want to watch this video through the end for that recipe of cracked chicken. Did you click my thumbnail because it said cracked chicken? I know you did. Oh my gosh. It's so good and so easy. I mean, what moms out there don't like easy? Oh, crock pot chicken, six ingredients. <laughs> that speaks to me. So I will get to that later in this video, but <laughs> just, I mean, even if you just don't even want to watch me cleaning, I, I don't blame you. Really, I don't skip through this and just kind of, you know, skip right to that recipe and and you're you're gonna love it your family's gonna love it so anyways thanks guys for watching i will uh kind of just be chit chatting throughout this video and maybe do like a um let's see like a get to know me kind of thing i don't know i kind of haven't done that yet so maybe we'll do that So let's just start off with a little all about me. I am 38. I have a 17 year old son who I raised on my own until he was 10 years old when I met my now fiance. And I also have four year old twins who I have mentioned before. I live in Florida and I have a full-time job as a USPS letter carrier. So if by chance there's any fellow USPS employees out there, shout out to you guys. <laughs> Going through some times right now, but <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, that's what I do. I've had that job since I was 22. So my oldest was one when I started there. So I've been working that for 16 years now. And um, I am actually, doing this editing on a Thursday. I'm leaving. Actually, I'll try and upload it today, but I am leaving later today and going to Orlando and doing some training for our union. So I'll be over there and I'm super excited about it. Um, knowledge is power, <laughs> especially with this job. Anyways, guys, cleaning. Look at this mess. <laughs> Like, watching this back, I'm like, what were my kids doing? <laughs> like, I don't even understand what their little brains are thinking when they're doing this. Sh so, they just shoved all their animals into the slime, I guess. That's fun. And it's not fun to clean it off, trust me. These things, it took me a minute to try and pull all this off these characters, all the little crevices. Oh, man. But it's whatever, they had fun. <laughs> Look at this. Look at Maui. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Kids are so funny. Oh my goodness. Anyways, um Yeah, this is what I did. Uh probably this probably took me a good 30 minutes to clean all these guys, but we 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 made it happen. See, there we go. Not too bad. I'll just clean off the table here really quick. Get all the dried on slime off my table. There we go, nice and clean. And here is their bedroom, so I'm gonna clean that really quick. It's not too bad, it's mainly just their beds that need to be kind of made up a little bit. Pick up some toys around the floor. Um, painless. <laughs> so guys, I'm interested in like you guys too. So. I'm curious if you're watching this and just, I don't know, feedback from you guys would be awesome. Where are you guys from? Like, if you're watching this right now, like, where are you? Are you in the United States? Are you out of the country? Are you in California? <laughs> Wyoming? Pennsylvania? I don't know. I grew up in Pennsylvania, by the way. That's why I said it. <laughs> 
Oh, I don't know. I just love connecting with it. People all over the place. It's so cool. I love YouTube for that reason too. Um, I got like one or two comments so far. I know this is only my fourth video, but comment guys. I want to talk to you. Tell me uh, what you guys, um, I don't know. Are you stay at home moms? That's like, oh my gosh. Thinking about doing that, okay, so just a little insight. My my girl twin, she had pink eye, I think, about two weeks ago. Had to keep her home. Um, it was like a three-day thing, you know, because it spread from one eye to the other. Then my son had it just this week, so Monday and Tuesday I had to take off work. I went in yesterday to work, and... It's just like those two days, Monday and Tuesday, being at home. <laughs> I love my kids so much, but props to all the stay-at-home moms. I don't know about anybody else's opinions, but that's a tough gig to stay at home. And oh, man, it makes my job, you know, delivering mail seem easy. And that's, it's not the easiest job out there. But man, staying at home with kids is tough. So just so you stay-at-home moms know, you rock. And that's all I gotta say about that. laundry guys in my house it it's never ending like there's not a day that goes by where these baskets are just empty and clothes are put away we are all guilty i'm sure of a load of clothes being left in the dryer for like days i do that and then i just keep doing like like a fluff cycle and then like i walk away <laughs> And then it sits there for another day and then I put it on a fluff cycle thinking, oh yeah, I'll come back and fold these when they're done fluffing. It doesn't happen. <laughs> it just doesn't happen like that. Anybody else guilty of that? These are the kids' blankets for daycare. So they come home every Friday to get washed over the weekend and then bring them back to school Monday. So folding those, going to put those away into their backpacks and... Guys, we are like T minus two minutes from this recipe, so hang in there. These are the twins. If you watched my, I think it was my first video, I referenced this match game and told anybody out there with kids around the same age as them that they should get this game because it's such a hit with them. Well, they're playing it. Match. It's a match game. I bought it at Target. Um, they love this game. Look at my fiance. <laughs> oh my goodness. That. I don't think I even knew that that was happening, but watching it here, that's funny. That is funny. He's such a great dad. He does so much for us. Match game! Is it your favorite game? Yes. Yeah. You guys ready to play? Yeah. All right, let's do it.
it's your turn. I got so many matches, guys. I know. I had to leave that in there. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did not expect that to pop up. But I am so ready to share this recipe. All right, guys. So I went and got all the ingredients from Trader Joe's. I might do another video like, and just take you along to Trader Joe's with me to get all these uh, ingredients. But it's just chicken. You can use boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I use thighs. You're gonna get cream cheese. You're gonna toss the chicken into the crock pot, okay? Easy enough. And then once you cube the cream cheese, just place it, you know, all sporadically around. There we go, there we go. You're gonna wanna use a packet of the ranch seasoning mix. I used this, I got it at Trader Joe's. And then after a few hours, it's gonna look like this, okay? It's not done yet. When it is done, it's gonna look like this and you just shred it. I took two forks and I just started ripping apart the chicken. Just keep shredding away. It It's very tender, so it's just gonna fall right apart. There you go. Meanwhile, I put bacon in the oven. That's another ingredient. When it's done, what I found was very easy um, is I took a pair of my kitchen shears and I just started cutting it. It was, I don't know what I even, how I even thought of that, but it's, it's easy. Just grab a slice of bacon and then I just started cutting away into a bowl. You're gonna dump the uh, bacon over top of it. So let's just finish cutting the bacon here. All right, there's the bacon, into the crock pot it goes. You're gonna want a cup of shredded cheese, or I mean, you can use as much cheese as you want, but I use a cup of shredded cheese. Put that lid back on, cause you're gonna want that to melt. All right, green onions. I never cut green onions before, so this is a first for me. You're just gonna wanna take off any um, of the leafy parts that you don't feel like are good anymore. You cut the ends, these bulbs off, trash, spin it around. And you know what? I watched a YouTube video <laughs> to, to learn how to cut green onions. So that's also trash. And then from what I watched, you are just supposed to start cutting away from this end all the way until, you know, as much as you need. I used about that much. I didn't use too much. I don't think my family's big on green onions so I like them I put them in that's kind of what it's gonna look like at the end of it so when you guys make this because I know you will I want you to tell me what you used as like your base I used noodles it was decent the one thing I would recommend is tossing it into like a sauce I want to know what you guys use rice whatever it might be um, so after the noodles were done I drained them how many of you guys knew about this? I saw it on TikTok. You put the strainer in the pot and you drain it in this way rather than putting like, dumping the pan into the strainer. What? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> if you don't do it this way, try it. I, I will never go back to the old way. I like it. <laughs> All right, so the noodles are done. I did buy these at Trader Joe's, some breadsticks to go with it. They were really good. Do not forget to come back and comment and let me know how you guys liked it. I really am curious if you liked it. I'll do more videos and I'll see you on the next one.